Today on Low Carb with Jennifer, I'm gonna show you all about zucchini noodles. Okay, let's get started with zucchini noodles. So if you're on keto, I know that you have heard of zucchini noodles. The first thing that goes on keto is bread and pasta and sugar. And what's a better way to make noodles is out than out of zucchini. It's such a popular way and um, yeah, it's really good. So there's, you know, there's some, some pros and some cons to zucchini noodles. Obviously, they're much, much less calorie and carbs, um, but they're also, they can be watery in your sauce. Um, they can get soggy. So how do we make the best of the zucchini noodle and make, you know, something that, a, a meal that's really delicious? So one thing I'll tell you a hot tip is try not to expect so much out of zucchini and try not to think that they're going to be exactly like pasta. They're not going to be. They're going to be much different. It's a vegetable and zucchini are mostly water. So you're replacing a, you know, a flour filled and, you know, egg or whatever filled food and something that's sturdy and delicious with something that's healthy um, and watery and a vegetable. So you're, they're not gonna be taste, they're not gonna taste the same. So, but we can make the best of it. We can, we can add a yummy sauce. And let me show you how to make the zucchini noodles not so watery in your sauce. I've got three methods. First, how do you pick the best zucchini? You want some that are this size or even bigger. Smaller zucchini, um, you know, they're just gonna, you're just gonna need more. You want them to be pretty straight. If they're like crooked, they're gonna, you know, they're not gonna spiralize really evenly. First step is we cut the ends off flat, pretty flat, and then we load it into our spiralizer. This is the Inspiralize Spiralizer, which they don't make anymore. Um, but there's all kinds of spiralizers on Amazon. Uh, honestly, this one's really good, so it's kind of unfortunate that they don't make it anymore. So first tip is you wanna make sure and you seat it very, you know, the almost dead on center onto the um, thing over, in, I don't know what it's called. You just center it on there. And then make sure you center it on over here and you squeeze it in there really tightly. So then we're gonna wanna make sure this is suctioned to our countertop really firmly. This is not going anywhere. Um, it's got two suctions on it and it helps to have a nice smooth flat countertop like granite. Okay, so we've got it on here and now we're ready to make our zucchini noodles. It's got a handle to put pressure on it. You're not supposed to put your hand over here. You could get cut. So you want to grab the handle that's on the spiralizer and then twist the, for to make the noodles. And if it starts to wobble, you want to take it off and re-center it. It's gotten off center. But we're looking really good here. So here's another good tip. If your kids have an aversion to anything green, just um, peel your zucchini. And that'll take that dark green peel off of there and then spiralize it without the peel. All right, so all we have left is that little piece right there and we have all of this zucchini noodles. So I'm gonna put them in a bowl. Okay, so this one's starting to get a little wobbly. So I can see here, I didn't put it on this thing centered. So I'm gonna just take it off and reseed it. All right. So now I can move this out of the way. And most of the parts on a spiralizer are dishwasher safe, or you can just put it in the sink in, with soapy water. So let's talk about watery zucchini noodles. So the best way to um, make sure your zucchini noodles are not watery 
is to saute them in a hot skillet first because it, then they're gonna release all of that water. They're probably gonna release a tablespoon of water per zucchini. So as you saute the water out, so you don't wanna put your sauce or anything in there, just your zucchini noodles and saute out that water, probably on medium, medium high heat, and let the water evaporate. Then also, you could remove them from the pan and drain them in a colander or pat them dry with a paper towel after you cook them. But you don't wanna cook them too much in the skillet or they're just gonna get really soggy. Just, you know, just to release that water, just, you know, a few minutes in the skillet, then add them to your sauce. You don't wanna cook them in your sauce before, uh, you know, you don't, I mean, you could use like, have your sauce separate and then cook them or not cook them. That was the next tip. Serve them raw. You could actually just season them with salt and let them sit for a little bit. And so they are nicely seasoned. They're going to um, release a lot of water, drain them in a colander, and then your noodles are ready to go. Serve them with your favorite sauce. Alfredo sauce, red sauce, whatever you like. Um, you could even heat them in the microwave after you salt them and drain off the water and even pat them dry with paper towels. And the third way to serve zucchini noodles is put them in a soup. They make a great bulk um, vegetable in a soup. Uh, I would trim them. So anytime you make zucchini noodles, you're going to want to take some sterilized kitchen shears and these aren't sterilized so I'm not going to use them and pick it up and just start cutting them that way they're more manageable you just pick and pick up and cut pick up and cut pick up and cut and that way they're more manageable I would do that with any recipe that I make zucchini noodles if you want to put the zucchini noodles in a casserole I would season them with salt and let them sit to drain off the water and then drain them in a colander and then pat them dry with paper towels. I did that with um, a casserole and the casserole was had hardly any water in it. It was great. So yeah, that's about it for zucchini noodles. They're a great alternative to pasta along with spaghetti squash. Um, sometimes I like to use green beans for uh, an alternative to pasta. But I think the perfect sauce to serve them with, a nice rich sauce, is my chicken Alfredo sauce. If you're on Facebook, you can just go to my website, jenniferbands.com, and search chicken Alfredo. It's gonna come right up. If you're on YouTube, you can click this box right here, and it's gonna take you to my video where I show you how to make the chicken Alfredo sauce. It is delicious. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this helps you have the best zucchini noodles. And they're not as great as pasta, of course, but they're going to be so much better for your waistline. Thank you guys. Bye.